so I will just um, so first I will give a brief introduction about our company profile and uh, go through a little bit about our products. So we are WeBase. We are the subsidiary of Wishon and iBase. So iBase is mainly focusing on design and manufacture of IPC products. And for Wishon, I bet some of you already know Wishon is one of the top uh, one uh, is divided by Acer computer. And Wishon is uh, one of the top three global maker of technology products. Besides the headquarter in Taiwan, we also have several global logistical and distribution operational base in Asia, Europe, and North America. Fortune Magazine has reported that Wishon is one of the top 500 uh, companies in the world ever since 2011, with more than 80,000 employees worldwide. Wishon reached 32.5 billion annual revenue last year. Compared to 2021, the annual growth rate has increased 2.14%, which has set the highest record in history. And uh, the products that Wishon, Wishon provides several superior customer support from design, manufacture, and services. So the products that include computers, servers, handheld devices, and also uh, vehicle to everything. So on the right hand side, these balloons are the worldwide companies that Wishon has partnered for ODM and OEM before. So to conclude, Wishon is a com company that is more than 20 years of history. We are financially healthy with solid organizational structure. We serve global customers with full services from concept, manufacture, and all the way to after services. <laughs> oh, just give me one second. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was about to ask is everybody seeing the the next slide page? Yeah. Sorry guys, we have a technical issue. We're we're trying to project our screen. Uh, in, in, in four, so, so please wait a sec. Sorry. It's like having a heads up about the next page and some of the highlights. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, okay. okay. So, so everyone can see um, we are in WeBase page, right? Yes, yes. a provider of okay. mobile and IoT solutions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So back to WeBase. We are founded in 2017 and with a capital of 20 million US dollars. We started from internet, in, industrial internet of things to AI edge computing. Two years ago, we built out our own brand with additional um, with additional AIoT services. Last year, we launched two smart devices, one body on camera and smart dash cam. We built an ecosystem by different vertical chains, which includes software and cloud services. So to sum up, WeBase creates smart devices which are made with rocket design and multi micro services. And our product line are not only includes smart devices, but also ruggedized handheld devices and uh, industrial wearable products. In another world, we provide a total solution. Okay, so this is our cloud solution. We call it Visa View Cloud, and this is our public cloud. So on this page, you can see two of our smart devices. The first one is our body on camera, our C10, which is our main character today. And 
here is our another product, Visa View D10, which is our smart uh, dash cam. So in our past platform, you can see several microservices. For example, you can see live streaming, you can see, you can track the location, and you can answer the call if the user pushes the SOS button. So these all information will be transmitted to SaaS platform, our partner, SI, via API. And the end user can see all the information through SaaS services. Okay. So this is our another um, solution that works with NX, which is the private cloud. So our body on camera, which can be connected with both Wi-Fi and LTE. So the, the services that we can provide, uh, as I just mentioned just now, we can provide live view, um, emergency call, or also tracking the GPS location by Visa View agent. And we also provide the N NFC patrol mode and push to talk function for uh, communication purpose or attendees report. So for a uh, real time from end view will be present in NX VMS portal for the command center to know the condition. So what is so special about our C10? There are some highlights. Um, so our chip, we use Qualcomm chip, which has a small GPU inside. We can get to do some AI uh, recognition, for example, face or uh, license plate recognition. And we do provide a push to talk, which is group talk communication. And for our battery, it can last up to eight hours for standby mode or four hours for live streaming or recording mode. And we do have a hot swap design, which is um, if, the if the device is run out of battery, it can easily swap the device without turning the device off. And last, we have we use Sony storage image, image sensor, which means it will be brighter at night, as you can see the difference from these two pictures. Okay, so here's some highlights about our dash cam. So the chip is the same. We use Qualcomm chip, which uh, we can do some AI recognition such as EDAS and DMS. We are ready for that. And it can also transmit by 4G, LTE, and Wi-Fi. And a special part is that we can support up to three, hour, three cameras, one main cam, and two external cams. At last, we uh, support sentry mode for power box. And also, we have a small uh, super cap inside the battery, which means when the power suddenly shut down itself, the super cap will still provide limited powers for transmission. So we haven't integrated this device, the, this smart uh, dash can with NX yet, but we are more than welcome to open up an integration if any of the NX customers are interested in our products. We can uh, publish with NX together. Okay, so uh, now I'll give the floor to Bill. He will give us more information about our body camera. Hi, Hi. Hi Bill, would you allow me to chime in a bit? So uh, what I just said is the C10 body one camera is already integrated with, with NX and Bill is going to share all the features. And DTEM, on the other hand, is where we're, it's, it's a new product as well, and we, we haven't integrated with that model yet, but we are, we are very open for, for the options for integrations, right, Bill? Yeah, yes, yes. It will be a, a different uh, vertical solutions because the C10 is probably, uh, C10 is focused on the uh, people wearing on their body to probably patrol or uh, be the portable IP cameras. And D10 is uh, especially for the fleet management. But uh, mm -hmm. it's like a video, we can bring the mobile vehicle's video uh, back to the NX. For example, like collision detection, or if the operation center wanna see the live, live streaming and they can see a live streaming and talk and probably to know where the uh, current situation of the driver. Yeah, mm -hmm. and 
yeah, we also, because, and also it's not only just a single cameras, we can, uh, that uh, D10 install two extra cameras on the rear or on the other location of the, the car. So if we have more than single cameras. Uh, got scenario. it, got it. Yeah, so we can say we're 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 pretty sure and understand more about the C10 use cases. While the D10 is a, a very specific vertical that we are we're evaluating how the two the two solutions could work together better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. And now, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. So I will just start to uh, the Osmo Auto Show solutions. So first. Uh, I'll introduce myself, and uh, again, it's very uh, nice to have this opportunity to be here to to be present uh, the Wizard View solution for Smart Patrol. And I'm Bill from from Arizona. So before the presentation, uh, I will be uh, I hope can share with you guys these videos because uh, it will be uh, very concept videos for how we are uh, design the C10 solutions. <laughs> As a concept videos, but uh, I will show you guys uh, the real application and how it works with NX. Yeah. Waterproof and dustproof. MIL STD 810H certified. Built in AI image recognition. Suitable for use in professional markets. Intelligent video transmission. So yeah, the, the mobile apps for yeah, different scenario anyway. Yeah. Real time data transmission. So in this scenario, you can see yeah, we can use NX to be operating center to streaming back all the videos and archiving back to the operation center. Superior technology to stabilize online video streaming. Remote monitoring in real time. Uh, as Edis just mentioned, we do support the GPS location, so people can know, can know where the device it is, and also support the push to talk and SOS, and all integrate with an uh, next. We can do the bookmark on the archiving and uh, back to NX, you can search the bookmark. It'll be easy. Excellent video resolution. Allows you to see clearly, even in the dark. Windsor View C10 has an LED lighting for filming in the dark. I also support the, the flashlight and the laser beam. Plenty of wearable accessories available, which are easy to install. Supports hot swapping, stays connected at all times. The hot swap features to swap the battery, and the device can continue a power on. Instruction set inspection and security deployment. Laser, C10, a new generation of smart wearable camera. Okay, it's a concept videos, so let's see how, how it works. Uh, we want to start from the, the mobile security. We want to define the Wizard View uh, solution to be mobile security. Uh, but why? Because uh, it's really different than the traditional, I would say the security uh, industry. You can you guys can see on the right. So most of the IP cameras we have been connect is something on the right, right? And uh, the, the, this, the, this presentation we are going to present is that C10 is a mo mobility. So when it comes to static to mobility, we think about three topics. The first one is static IP, because for most of the LTE cameras, uh, LTE uh, devices, there is no static, static IP, especially in uh, a lot of countries. The fixed IP is very expensive. And the, the second one is that we are going to, the device itself is actually mobility. So it will be walk through or drive through for different locations. So the signal is, uh, will be strength, will be strong or be weak. So how to keep the stable streaming will be also very important. And the third one is that when it comes to the static to mobility, what kind of extra applications we can create for these scenarios. So let's start from the video streaming. The, the video streaming, the first one we'll talk about the streaming routes. Uh, you guys can, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the previous slide, we talked about the static IP, right? The static IP cameras, we pulling the static IP from the IP camera and back to NX. But when we come to the LTE, there's no fixed IP. So when we design the products with NX integrations, uh, it's the opposite weight. 
like you need to put the static IP of the server into the BWC cells. So when the camera is turning on, the streaming will push actively to the WSAV server, and which will be on-premises. You can install in the same computer of your uh, NX server. Then the NX server can pull in the streaming from the WSAV server. It will be easy, so we can solve a lot of problems of the network infrastructures. And the second one is that uh, for most of the IP cameras, I think you guys must be very familiar, we have the main screen and the second screen. The same ideas of the BWC, but we have two uh, video streaming, so we have two video source for different purposes. The first one, you can think about the main streaming is for the archiving. We will uh, recording the files into the BWC itself. And the second streaming will do adaptive, so it will be back to the WSAV server, then back to NX. And especially people always asking about the encryption. So all the data stored in the BWC itself before archiving to NX. Now, uh, if people try to uh, pull out the SD card, the video is encrypted by AES 256. So it's not cannot be seen. Okay, so when you back to the station and how you are going to retrieve the archiving video back to NX, we have two ways. The first one is you can uh, put on the USB type C back on the BWC itself and press the confirm key. And the second one is we come with the, you can you have the option to buy uh, the cradle, a single cradle and six cradles. When you put on, uh, when you back in the cradles, we will uh, retrieve uh, back the archiving video back to uh, NX virtual cameras. So two ways to do that. So, uh, there are two, uh, in these sections, we talk about live streaming. We have uh, live streaming infrastructure, the route is different. And the second one is we have the live streaming and video archiving. Then we are talking about the stable streamings. For stable streamings, I will especially uh, thanks for the ANX partners, especially Sean and uh, Jason, who shared uh, the videos, especially, especially in the vacations. So I, I'll first share the, the video from, from Sean. Uh, Zhang, it's, uh, I guess you guys must be very familiar. Uh, he's the support engineer in NX. And during the uh, our spring vacations, and he bring the BWC, the C10, for the round trip of the Taiwan. And uh, they use the power bank to power the BWC and the LTE uh, SIM card inside the, the C10. And they ride, their, ride his motorbike do a round trip. And you can see, uh, when he is moving, and uh, actually the the signal is in different locations, especially he's riding a motorbike, the speed is, very, is quite fast anyway. But the streaming, we can still keep the stable streaming. And I want to especially mention that this is not archiving video. This is a live streaming video back to NX to using the NX license to do the recording. And then I export to share with you guys. This is the, the round trip from and from Sean, <laughs> okay. And the second one is uh, Jason. I thank you for sharing this video. This is the video. Uh, Jason uh, uh, have a trip in Japan, and uh, he's very nice to share this video from uh, this trip, and also with uh, his family. And he wore the our BWC, and uh, as you can as you guys can see, he's trying to find a way to some nice location. Probably I'll say. <laughs> And uh, he's using uh, the harness, uh, the accessory, and also with the mobile uh, share hotspot. So it's actually, I uh, want to demonstrate with you guys is that we're not only just support the LTE itself, you can also use a Wi-Fi and use your mobile devices to share the hotspots. You can also get the stable streaming like what you saw in the video right now. Okay. Okay. So what's the, exactly the challenge I have been already uh, explain from the real situations. But I want to use these um, uh, pictures to show uh, the exact challenge is that in different, when the camera, when the streaming source is moving, the bandwidth is actually dynamic. So how to keep it stable is what we put a lot of efforts from our R&D to make it happen. You can see the right hand side, is probably, it's a, like a reference only, but we try to adapt the RTSP streaming in different resolutions in different frame rate per seconds to make the frontly of the 
video is always uh, can serve to annex for the different purpose. And that's why this is so hard for the dynamic uh, streaming locations, the dynamic streaming uh, scenarios. Okay, so we talk about a lot of the streamings. Let's talk about applications. Uh, it's not only just the video source from static to mobility, it's also be creating, we also create uh, different applications for the mobile devices. Let's talk. Uh, let's take a look about this um, uh, diagram first. The LTE cameras we back to the Wizard View server and back to uh, NX servers, but actually can be installed in the, the same server. It should be also okay. When you do a patrolling, uh, because it is already shared about all the features, I will go through one by one a little bit detail. So I'm not go through one by one here, but it will be support all the different features all inside the single product of the C10. So when we're in uh, some customers in Taiwan, why they choose to use C10 is that the security guard actually don't have to bring a lot of devices like walkie-talkie, don't have to bring the Android phone for NFC tracking, don't have to bring uh, another cameras for only recording. And a lot of things were, and uh, probably sometimes you will forget to charge. Using C10, you only have to bring one devices with you and you solve all the problems. And the second one is that when you back to the station, you can, pulling all the data back to NX to store all the uh, videos archiving. And before archiving, it's all safe, being protected by AES uh, encryptions. So that's why, um, that's how we design products. So uh, when you are using the NX, it will be how it looks like. And we will do a real demo, so I won't stop here uh, for long. The first one I want to talk about is the map. The map location is that we are, because it's, it's the, the device is actually moving. So a lot of our customers actually asking, do, can we know where the locate, uh, where the device it is? The answer is yes. And then we also put the map to be embedded more back to NX. So you guys can see when you are using the NX panel, you can see the full screen map in that. So it'd be easy for you to know where the device's location it is. And if you use our portal, you can also track the routes, the history. So it will be very convenient for you to track all the devices history where the patrol guard it is, okay? The, the second one is already know the locations and what if there is something happens, emergency. So we also come with the SOS button and already integrate with the NX. When you press the SOS button, you can have the generic event for NX to NX. So NX operator can know uh, there's emergency happens, which we will demo later. And then when you do the patrol, the second one is the boom mark. I saw this uh, location or I saw something which is weird. Uh, I want to check after all the video back to NX, we can use the boom mark features. We will also demo that as well. So it'll be easy for you to just archiving. It's not just archiving the video. We are also creating the events by NX technologies for people easy to search the exact videos you want. Okay, this will be how it looks like and press the SOS key for demo. So we won't stop here for long. The second one is that the same, we press the confirm key and we will do the bookmark. It's on the left hand side of the, the VWC. After archiving and we will can search the bookmark. It will be actually in the virtual camp, it will be two separate entities and we will show you guys later in the demo sections. The second one, uh, the third one is the device uh, management portal. It will be a web portal as well. This portal will be actually in these computers. So you can log remotely or you can use uh, any client and supporting web to log in to this portal to control all the, to control and manage all your BWC solutions. And especially I want to mention that uh, Jason, before the presentation, before I start, Jason asked about the D10, right? If we are going to integrate with D10 with NX, we are definitely using the same portal. So, which means people can use the same portal to manage C10 and D10. So it will be a single portal uh, fulfill both the people wearing the camera and car install the cameras. Okay. Then is the NFC features. Is that the reason why we are using the NFC features is that we saw 
a lot another BWC which they need a car reader to check. Like for example, if I'm going to patrol and I need uh, NFC, I need my favorite car to check a uh, computer car reader. But what if the car reader is already in the BWC itself? So that's why we are using these technologies for the portal. You can just swipe your car on your BWC and then you can know who is the security guard and who is the user using the BWC. This is the, the first one. And the second one is that when Bill is patrol and I will check in different locations, right? For some of the like the patrol systems, I guess you guys definitely see you they need to use a mobile phone. And uh, they will be using their NFC features to scan the NFC tag. But how about we already have the NFC readers on the BWC? So you only have to register your NFC tag on that location. So when the patrol guard in that location, they can only use they can they only have to use their BWC to scan the NFC tag. Then all the record will back to the the portal. So which means the single devices, we can not only just do the identification of the user, we can also do the identification of the locations. Okay, and after that, all the log can be searched by locations, by time periods on the portals. And the fifth one is the push to talk. This is using technologies different than just the RTSP streaming for two-way audios because I guess you guys must be very familiar with the tool audio of like RTSP streaming, right? And you can use NX or the other VMS or the other kind of features for traditional CTV devices. But if we want to replace, I want to say replace, like how want to help the patrol guard to communicate with each other. Sometimes the scenario is not just one by one, it's many to many. So that's why the push to talk features, we can do in the group talk. Um, many to many. And uh, if the, all the people in the same group, you can use the BWC talk to each other and all the and the, the operating center can use the web, can talk to the BWC as well. Okay, this is all it looks like. And here comes the demo. Uh, Bill, before we jump into the demo sessions, there are some questions we, we would like to ask, all right? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, since the last page about about push to talk, there's a question uh, asking how how does the push to talk work with NX? So I guess you can share more with everybody like uh, the push to talk uh, between different security guards who are having body one cameras with them and also the security guard who are sitting in the control room, right? Could you share the scenario for different cases for the push to talk function? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay cool. Sure. So, so for the push to talk, so the first question is how it works with an X. So the, I will want to I want to use this uh, diagram to to explain that you can see uh, all the BWC will be registered in the Wizabu server, and then they can start to talk to each other. Then, if the NX is the operator, use an X, and uh, you can you only have to open the web uh and enable the chat room which is here which is uh in the push to talk chat room then mm -hmm. even the web browser is closed then the bwc can still talk to each other but if you are going to talk to the the bwc then you need to open this web and then talk to talk to them and now currently the web when you are open this web in nx we still try to figure out some technical issues to talk directly in the next. It will be the next stage. But currently, if you want to use these features, you have to open the web browser and talk to the BWC users. Mm -hmm. Got it. So there are actually two audio streams coming in, coming from the BWC, right? The first one is RTSP audio and video that are recorded in the NX. So we are always having the audio recorded with the, the video at the same time. The other is the audio stream comes from the WebRTC that the operator needs to communicate with the BWC carrier via a web browser, right? So there yes. are two yeah. simultaneous audios happening. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Clear, clear, yeah. 
And also one thing I think you could share with with us that uh, like like the BWC, sometimes we have a SIM card embedded, but sometimes it's it's streaming the video from Wi-Fi. Sometimes it's streaming the video from LTE. So do we have to change the network back home manually, or would it just switch over Wi-Fi LTE like automatically? Okay, I want to answer this question in fact, because we are Android Insights, so you can think about this device, it's just like your Android phone. So when it comes to Wi-Fi, then it will be Wi-Fi first. Then if, if mm -hmm. there's no Wi-Fi and you have the SIM card Insights, we will automatically switch to the LTE. And then if you are inside the buildings and you do have the Wi-Fi, but you don't want to use the Wi-Fi, you can force to close the Wi-Fi, just use your mobile phone. To close the Wi-Fi and force mm -hmm. to use LTE. So the scenario okay. is like it's just like and, smartphone. Yeah, just like smartphone. It's all done automatically. You don't have to do the manual switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Yeah, and and I, I can share one more things from from my and Sean's use use cases is that we we have different profiles set up in our BWC, right? So profiles like NX Office, Jason Home, and Jason Smartphone. So when I bring my BWC to office, I just I just change the profile to NX office, then I will use NX office Wi-Fi as my back home. Uh, with my back home. When I go home, I choose JSON home, then I will use my home Wi-Fi as back home. And when I go out or when I was travel abroad, I would just choose JSON smartphone, right? So I already share my smartphone as a hotspot to be the back home for the BWC. So there, there's a there's a process for you to very easily change the profile of the backhole of your of your BWC, right? So it, it's 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 pretty easy to use for 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 different scenarios like that. Yeah, yeah, just like yeah. your smartphone. Okay, choose different Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. So okay, there's yeah. So Jason, yeah. Yeah, just very quick. So there's a question say, do we need license for audio recording? Uh, I think that's more for, I think actually for both of us, like for BWC, audio comes with video, so no license is needed. And when we enable the recording functions in NX, right? So I, I think everybody, I think most of the people know that we don't charge for live viewing features. We charge for if the user want to record the video. Right, and if you want to record the audio, then you have to have a video recording functions, right? So, uh, yeah, we will need a license for audio recording NX. It, that will come together with video. Yeah, yeah license. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you need a license to do the video recording and audio recordings in NX. Yes. And there's another question about audio. It say, can the user have multi-chat channel to talk? I oh, guess. Multi-chat bill, please. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when you talk about the multi-chat, uh, I, I guess the, the user is asking about like, can I join the one chat room and the second chat room simultaneously? If so, the answer currently is no, because uh, the design concept is that the single BW can only just join single uh, chat room, just like because we are using a Google meeting, and uh, if I'm going to use another. Uh, probably Zoom or a Google meeting to join another meeting, they will occupy the microphone speaker simultaneously because I only have single computers. So the same idea is that we only have single BWC, so we can only join the single chat room. But if you want to uh, switch, it's easy. You just uh, remove and uh, add, remove the BWC from the first group and add it to the second group, and you can join another group anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there. I think the other two questions, I will leave these two to uh, after Bill's demo, all right? We might see something from the demo, yeah. Okay, okay. So, Thank you. okay. So you guys see my screen, right? It's an next um, interface, client interface. Okay, yep. I guess you guys are probably very familiar with that. So I wanna start with the, the GPS. So the GPS is actually been embedded uh, from the NX uh, webpage uh, in a, a web page. So after you can just drag and you can know exactly uh, where we are. But uh, I think it's in Taiwan anyway. Yeah, we're in the Nan Kang. Yeah, and uh, yeah, very close to 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 uh, NX office. A little bit far, but probably <laughs> yeah, it's in Nan Kang. And after that, probably you guys want to see uh, where we look like the other colleagues. So let's see 
the live streaming. Hi, and uh, this is a lot of people is uh, <laughs> join the, the meetings here. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that because we are is a mobile device, so I want to use uh, the first BWC to check the video, and I will use the second BWC to see. But actually, because we have the webcam, <laughs> it's actually the same. Anyway, so the I want to start to use the BWC. I want to set, look, look and build first. We have the press. We have the button in the front. When you press that, you can do the live view and recording, and or the recording only. And the SOS button is is over here. And uh, we have the flashlight, laser beam, and also the power button is here. On the left hand side, there is a push to talk because a lot of people asking about the audios. It's very important is that it just like the walkie talk. You need to press the a push to talk, then you can talk to the same group. Of, of your uh, colleague, but if you don't press the button, you can only receive, just like the, the radio, just a radio, the same, exactly. And there's a select key, and there is the confirm key. It's very easy. And we have also the, 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 the battery. You can just remove the, the battery here, and you can uh, back to the You can remove the battery here. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, remove the battery here. Okay, then okay, then so the video the after look and build, let's see the the live streaming here. So you are already we are already in the in the live in the live and recording mode, right? And you can see okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can remove the battery and the SIM card and SD card is actually inside. And the NFC module is in is on the battery. Okay, fast one. Okay, then. So when, when we do a location, when we have the live streaming, then uh, what if something happens? So I will press the SOS buttons here. And you guys can see there is the green uh, shows on the NS witness. And you can see something on the right, the event is coming in to see what happens okay so it's very important that uh when there's something happens you press the button and uh, people on the operation center using the nx can know what's happened and you can streaming directly and see what happens locally and also using the push to talk to communicate with the local security guard this is the uh the patrol mode and after that when you back to the center you're doing the archiving Actually, you will create another entity. We call virtual cameras. And virtual cameras here, you can see here. You have the boom mark, like here, what we created yesterday. And the same, you can search the boom mark here um, from time to cameras. You have a different boom mark and also different uh, recording for the. Uh, yeah, I said that what we rehearsed yesterday. So I won't play the audio anyway. But just like you can have the full mark and all the video archiving in the virtual camera and for the live streaming and uh, you can have the another entity here is to do the live streaming and as always this is basically uh for patrol and patrol dance yeah okay so uh, yeah that that's really interesting bill so it mean like the generic events will be sent live back to the NX server, right? And in case of no, no temporary network done, like case like that, we don't have network for, for some time, uh, we can still create a bookmark in the virtual camera in the offline video. And when we import them back, we still have the records when there's an event happened, right? Yes, yes. So that's why we have okay. two streaming. Yeah, and the, both of them, you can create a, an ex, a event for NX. Got it. Got it. Yeah, got. I got it. Yeah, that that's that's actually like it, we we always want there's live streaming, live connections all the time. But we know it's standard. No matter even even we're using five G, is it possible there are some dead spots we don't have network? But it's it's good that there's another way to record record the, the events as a bookmark in the BMS. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I after that, talking I talking about the map. Uh, okay. Cool. Is that a specific map? or we can use a like Google map? 
Uh, the, the currently uh, we are using the OpenStreetMap and it's uh, basically embedded uh, in the software already. So you can use the map we, we offering. But when you talk about the Google map, do you have any specific purpose for using the Google map? Or any, maybe, I mean, because maybe it's more easier for people to using the Google map. Oh. It, but, uh, yeah. Okay, I think basically uh, the, the map features from OpenStreetMap and Google map is basically the same, but um, uh, you can, uh, I think people, when people are trying to use the map features, you can use the OpenStreetMap first. And when the information or some features probably missing, or we can talk about probably using a Google map. But one very um, uh, realistic, I mean, re real, th uh, real things need to mention is that Google map, when we try to retrieve a lot of uh, APIs, you need to pay, a user needs to pay the extra for API keys. Yeah, this is the reason uh, we need to, that's the, that's the thing we need to also notice about, about that. So that's why we're using the OpenStreetMap. We, we try to create a very uh, affordable and professional at the same time for these solutions, yeah. Okay, so so this is, uh, I, I want to, especially thanks for annexing. This is uh, uh, in the NX office, and uh, Sean, Andy, and uh, Jason, they're trying to, I think it's uh, when Sean and Andy is doing the, the, the lunch, right? <laughs> and uh, they're, they're walking. Yeah, they're in, having uh, lunch. Yeah, they're having lunch. And they are walking in the Taipei underground streets and uh, we're in the VWC. And one of them is in the NX uh, Taipei headquarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, so you guys can see, it's a uh, real things that you can use the, the NX climb to operate the BWC simultaneously using the live view streaming and the, the map. That's why I want to demo. This video is on the Jason channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> I'm <pressed. laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> okay, okay. And the second one is because it would be hard to demo the push to talk because we are doing the audio communication. So I want to use this YouTube video to, to, to do the push to talk as well. This is the, the same, the, the dinner time, oh, uh, lunch time. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in the office? Yeah, I'm in the office. That's great, thanks, bye. <laughs> okay, it's so a very uh, efficient and uh, good <laughs> conversation for them. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> yeah, the first to talk, yeah, so. This is basically the, the demo itself. So uh, after the demo and you guys see all the features, all the applications, I definitely one thing want to let you guys know when you really bought the BWC, what kind of things inside the box. You have the BWC a USB cable and you have the back clips for, for the basic use. And also of, of course for adapter for different countries and also come with the battery. You have the options for a single cradle and six waves, and also the uh, back clips for uh, basic use. And if that you have uh, probably some mission critical uh, environment, you want the BWC to be more stable than the basic. You can choose our duck lamp or harness accessory to uh, make your BWC more stable anyway. And we have a supermodel for Iron Man. It looks like that this way, yeah. On the left-hand side, and you have a dark lamp, and using the NX uh, app to see the live view streaming. And the right-hand side is using a harness, yeah, and uh, selfie in the elevator, yeah. So two ways to do that. Uh, last but not least, this is not only just body camera. We have a lot of uh, scenarios and people uh, using uh, body-worn cameras with NX to do the live streaming by polo cameras. We have the examples on the construction sites because you know construction sites sometimes it's hard to uh, using the cable, install the cable. It's uh, messy uh, in the environment. But I want to see a live view streaming. You can just use a body one camera with the power back. You can sustain a long time. Or in some locations, uh, you are hard to install. For example, we just have a customer that is using a BWC inside the baby room to take care of the baby because in that environment, it's hard to reinstall the cable. It will be a coaxial cable 
but it's hard to reinstall the RJ45 cables because it's all the time got a baby inside. So they use the, uh, our BWC C10 with the NX uh, to do the monitoring. And uh, for the sustainability, uh, this is what our R&D uh, do the test for four, five days, I don't know, three days for continuous recording and we use the NX uh, features to export a video and can sustain and all of them is quite friendly and uh, no uh, stop recording, stop streaming, something like that. Okay, this basically uh, the presentation, I don't know, it will be too long, so I hope you guys can have, uh, understand our products more anyway, yeah. So it's great, Bill, questions. thanks a lot, yep. Yeah, 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 there are actually several questions waiting for us. So let's let's get into the Q and A sessions, okay? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So there's one question asking about the redundancy for for the for for the for the relay server. I would say, is there a redundancy design for the relay server? I said actually a very good questions for for the relay servers. Currently, currently, uh, we are trying to uh, develop the redundancy. Uh, features that because uh, for most of the customer we are selling now is under 30 or under 20 but uh, it would be a very key question if we are trying to do more bigger projects so we are end to release features and uh, already start to arrange probably in q2 like we can like annex we can do the server to uh, do the redundancy but for more details i will probably need to uh, release that after the the webinar but, but currently if the answer is asking what we have now now we still under developing yeah for the redundancy got it got it got it and there's a question from miguel about how, how to change the pro profile of the bwc so yeah so i, I think there, there's a select button and there is a confirm button right bill, bill can share that while i'm talking so there's a it's, it's like using your your smartphone but it's like the with the functional key so you can choose different profile and then you select the profile you want and then you just press confirm right but of course when yeah. you are setting yeah. different profile we we need to use the web browser but when once you set the profile you want to change the profile you just interact with the bwc yeah okay and yeah. so one yeah. question yeah, yeah bill please Oh, no, no, just use the just like what Jason just mentioned. You can use the select and confirm key and uh, choose a different profile, and they can select the different Wi Fi. Yeah, on mm -hmm. the OLED, you can see. So, another question is Will the map work when the server is offline or there's no internet connections? I guess it's no internet connections between the BWCs and the web server. So I, okay. You mean if there is disconnection from the BWC and uh, uh, in the relay server, does the GPS signal still can? But do we still know where the last location were before the internet is disconnect from the BWC? Is that the question? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think because so. We, that, that, we, that should be. The okay, right. I think because we are keep uh, pushing the GPS location back to the server. So of course we can know the location, but it's before it's disconnected because we will store all the GPS data inside the server. So before it disconnect, we can mm -hmm. memorize the last GPS data and show the history of the GPS location. But if the internet already disconnected, then we won't know the location anymore. Yeah. Got it. And, and if the, the bandwidth is too small for video and audio, well, Will the BWC still send the GPS location to the server? Like we have some KBs kind of uplink only. Uh, okay, it's a very uh, interesting question is that if we only have certain KBs, um, because the, the GPS data is a latitude and longitude, it's, it's probably less than 1K. So it will be still sending the data, but I think the, the, the things we will be seen is that the video will cannot be sent because if we only got the 50k per second or probably 20k it would be really hard to send the videos but the answer is yeah. that 
no matter uh, if there is a connection, we will keep sending the data. But the, the, the first disconnect will be probably definitely the video because it's a big data. But for GPS, because mm -hmm. it's a it's not it's really small, so we'll keep sending the data as well. Yeah. Got it. So the worst case would be like we, we know where's the BWC, but we just can't see what it's looking at, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I there's a question from from uh asking, can we see multiple BWC on the map? Because on the demo we only see one BWC on the map. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see a lot of BWC in the, the map. Yeah. So I will show these videos uh, from from Jason and the John and Andy. Yeah, you can see there is uh, two BWC probably. I think it's here, right? There are two BWC. There are two BWC for different color and the GPS locations. The idea is that you can see the map in the same chat group. Just like the idea of grouping the BWC is that you can, in the same group, you can know the location and also you can communicate with each other. So no matter how many BWC, I would say no matter how many, probably within 10, 20 or 30, you can see all the BWC in the same map and they will have different colors, different dots inside the map. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. And can we power the camera through a power supply permanently instead of using the battery? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use the USB Type C power bank, or you have another mm -hmm. strong extra power bank can can do that. Uh, just like the scenario here, you see here, you can use a power oh, supply. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, just like charging the smartphone. Just like charging a smartphone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for the SD card inside the BWC, so what is the maximum capacity that is supported? One terabyte maybe or, or, or less than that? Uh, currently it's uh, 512, 512, the testing, 512, the maximum. 512, 512, yeah, 512. 512. 512. And, uh, but we do have the 64 uh, EMMC inside, but if you want to do a recording, we'll recommend using SD card. Anyway, but during the testing, you can use the EMC inside as well. It's fine. Yeah. But for SD card, it's 512 gig. Uh, any ideas for, for, for 512 gig? How, how, how many days of recording? Like, I mean, permanent continuous recording can we keep inside a BWC? It's, I guess it's more it's like a very... mathematic question. <laughs> yeah, I think we can, we can, can choose seven twenty p, seven twenty p or ten eighty p, right? There are different. I think the firmware is the uh, sorry, the frame rate is the same, just the resolution. It could be one meg or two meg, right? Yeah. So for example, I will do the example like if you are using the one thousand five hundred k per second, uh, plus one gigabyte for one hour, one gigabyte one hour. Yeah. Oh, probably. Uh, thanks for Jeremy. Yeah. It will be one uh, gigabyte for one hour. So if you have five, one, one two, one probably hour. yeah. five, five hundred hours at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got you know, it. Will be Got it. Love days. Yeah. 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 There's an interesting question saying: Are the GPS GPS location sent to NX as a metadata and saved in NX, recorded by NX? Uh, I would say no. Right now. Right now, we don't save the GPS coordinate in NX, right? And I, I see it, we, we are, we're actually discussing this. How, how, do we, uh, how do we interact with the GPS location in NX? There are actually two ways, Miguel. Uh, the first one is like you asked, we can save the GPS in NX so that we can, we can key in the, the latitude and longitude and find the related video. And we're in, in, in 5.0, we have a new API called JavaScript API which we are in discussions with the WeBase team that we have the map embedded in NX, right? We have the GPS location of, uh, of each BWC. We have the log history of the BWC. And with the new API, JavaScript API, it is, all we can do is that we just click on the icon on the map and then the icon, the web embedded in our client will control the NX client and then to pop up a camera showing on the upper lab or lower right or any location, it can predefine by the engineers, right? So there are actually two ways, like, like we just save the GPS in NX as a metadata, or we just like move uh, smoothly interact 
between the desktop client interface and the web interface. There are two two potential ways we can do that. And, and right now, I would say, yeah. Yeah, and especially I think that what Jason just mentioned is about like click the uh, the the dot the GPS uh, location on the map, and we can pop up calling the 5.0 the newly side. Uh, JavaScript API and the pop up the live streaming. I think it'll be very interesting to, and be very interactive for operator to using the the NS client to operate all the BWC. Yeah, I think it'll be. Uh, yeah, we're trying to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's new. It's new. Yeah, <laughs> it will be great. <laughs> and yeah, then there's another question: is that how many BWC can we add on a single uh? We base server. I, I, I assume that's that the relay server. How many BWC can we have at the same time? Okay, very key questions. People always ask, ask about that. So for currently, uh, we are testing. I would say at least uh, for 30, 30 units, but we're trying to uh, extend more because what we the, the numbers we are going to release is that we're trying to make sure the stabilities. So for example, that we try probably like. Uh, 16 pwc in the i7 16 gig rent and uh, probably uh, 256 ssd and uh, simultaneously do the streaming and it comes through the cpu is less than less than 20 right less than 20. Yeah. so i would say mm -hmm. if you we maximize to 30 is very safe and uh, we're trying to uh, extend more probably we our target is that if we can uh, maximize to 50. but the key is that the bottleneck is not only just the uh, server itself, it's also come with the uh, bandwidth. Because the if bandwidth. you talk about, yeah, the, the, the bandwidth is also the bottleneck. Uh, if you, you guys talk about, if you guys take a look about this, uh, the streaming back to the, the server itself, and also you need to streaming out to NX if you do it in a separate way. So if single BWC occupy 1.5 megabit per second, and the 10 will be 15, and the 50 BWC will be almost 100 uh, megabit per second. So if you're not using the gigabit, gig, gigabit LAN card, uh, network card, probably will be the bottleneck, the bottleneck will be the, in the internet. But if you install in the same, same computer like this too, and uh, it won't happen like this way. So the limitation is not come with the server, also come with the uh, the, the network bandwidth. But uh, coming back for the server itself, I think at least 30, no problem. And I think we have the potential to reach 50 for a single server. But now if I want to answer the question, I will say 30, yeah. Hmm. So Bill, can we say there's, a, there's no software Type kind of limitations more about the the hardware, the servers, or the the, the network that we are running. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And another question is saying, can we remote turn on the device? Like perhaps the security guard forget to turn it on, and the operator in the control room can they just force to turn on the BWC? Uh, yes, yeah. And uh, currently, no. But uh, we are going to the next release. We are already in the DQA testing because uh, this is a very a uh, good question because we are started to selling like uh, starting from uh, starting start to sell and uh, do the testing stuff from last year. So this is a very good questions and the key questions people ask about us because sometimes uh, the security guard will forget, but they're already outside and they probably don't know how to operate the the devices. Sometimes. The, the security guard, they, they are not technical guys. So they, you, you told them, oh, your device is not turned on. Probably you will take a lot of time for the communication and into all the cost. So for the new version, we are going to release and you can turn on remotely using the web RTC data gateway to open the BWC, turn on the recording and live or live. So it'll be easy mm -hmm. for you to remote uh, do the command to the, the BWC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Yeah, and so we're a little bit behind the schedule. Let's take the last questions. And at the same time, Bill, can you can you share on your screen the, the contact information of yours and the WeBase team so that everybody, 
Uh, so I'm, we we're going to take the last questions, all right? And if you have any questions, please feel free to send an email to Bill, and Bill will be more than happy to supply you with some documentation for that, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite small, but anyway, <laughs> it's very small. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. It's also about the auto turn on. Like, it's another question related to that is can we set a GPS fence that when the BWC is outside of that area or inside of that area, then it will force the BWC to be turned on or turned off? Yeah. Um, this is the, the project we are, uh, we heard from some customers, but the key is that the the, G, the the GPS location we do have the tolerance for the GPS. So mm -hmm. if I we we really using the fence, and if a customer can tolerate the lens, the 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 location probably like five I don't know probably five to ten meters, five to ten meters, five five to eight meters, and it should be okay to do that. But currently we don't five have the eight. features, but know. it's it's the it's, it can be discussed. If we really have the project okay. and the customer requirement, we can. But do remember the GPS is not exact locations. It got the tolerance mm -hmm. for the precise locations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. technical is doable. Okay. Technical is doable. But realistic, it needs to be customer acceptance. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. All right. Yeah. So thanks a lot, everyone. There's a, a lot of good questions being asked. Yeah. So. Bill, it is we wasting. Thank you very much for your time today. I think uh, we have delivered a lot of information throughout the presentation. So, uh, oh, dear partners, if you have any questions, you can see Bill's email uh, on the screen now. So feel free to contact Bill and we wasting. All right. And any other things you'd like to share with everybody, Bill, before we we close the session? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, I think I think I'm 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 good for now. I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't know, colleague. But I think if you have any questions, feel free to to ask me or ask Jason or Hutton. I mean anyone or anyone in our team. You can go to if you miss my uh, email address, you can go to Webase uh, Webase uh, website. You can have con contact us as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. let's try to do something different uh, this year, and hopefully we can uh, have create something new uh with us together and hope you guys enjoy thank you that's great that's great all right so everybody thanks a lot for joining today so uh, in about one or two weeks time we will post the recorded sessions on our nx youtube channel feel free to share with your colleagues customers or partners who didn't manage to join today all right so thanks a lot thank you thank you thank you thank you bill yeah, thank you thank you bye, -bye. Yeah. take care guys yeah.